Welcome! Hey. hey guys, welcome to another It Takes Three episode. Yay! And it has a visual. And we have a visual. Hello to those that are watching on our YouTube channel. Hello. And hello to those listening, whether you're listening in your car or at work. Thank you. Oh, Jim. Thank you so much. Thank you for joining us. Whatever um, you're doing. We are indulging in some cocktails. We sure are. What do we are. have today, what do we, have Michelle? Michelle? we are drinking organic cucumber vodka. Mm. Um, I can't read the label right it's now. Okay. It's okay. Oh, there we go. It says visuals, yep. they can read it. But you can it see is the bottle. Crop. Crop Harvest Earth Organic Cucumber. Here in Love of Life, we have LaCroix. Passion Fruit LaCroix. It's yep. very refreshing. If you're new, it is nice. If you're new to us, um, we drink a lot of LaCroix. Yeah, yeah we're big fans. An obsessive amount of LaCroix. Which, so you might see that in probably every and any visual. So, yeah, just yeah, let enjoy. me know. There's nothing wrong with nothing. I know nothing it's it's it. made fun of. I hear a lot of people are like, "Oh, that's such a millennial drink." I know, Is and it? I'm like, yep. "It's just seltzer." I guess because it's that specific brand. Yeah. yeah. That everyone's like, "Oh, Lacroix." Like and it has a fancy name. But I've never heard something. that, but no, you know what? It makes sense. Yeah, they say it's a mo very millennial thing to drink, and fuck it, I don't care. I'll drink it Whatever. all day, every day. I love it. I love it. And now I just want to say, yes. I did start a new job. And I drink my LaCroix every day. I have a case under my desk. And people at work started asking questions. Yeah, and people at work started day. drinking it. And I'm like, okay, LaCroix, you see that? You hear that? You hear my voice right now? People are drinking. And we have listeners that started drinking. We do. It. We've gotten people to drink LaCroix. Yeah, so many. They have people. never heard about it until we introduced that. Right, so our other podcast. You know what, LaCroix? I mean, you show some love. Show some love And to like us. I said, on a past Tree Hill, or is it It Takes Three? I don't Who remember. Knows? Yahoo Finance article, I shouted you out. Yeah. 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 So let's make this happen. Please. But anyway, as always, we t tend to rant about our yeah. love. We're going to rant about anything and everything. I mean, that's what this podcast that's, is about. That is what <laughs> this podcast is about. So, and we have cocktails. So we have cocktails. It's like a happy things hour. are going to happen. It's a happy and if there's a favorite cocktail of yours that you we want us love to, to hear, yeah, we, we would love to hear it. So please. Send us your favorite cocktail recipes and we'll maybe because make it up in the next cocktails. Podcast. We do. Yes. All right. So what uh, are we talking about? Today. How was your week, guys? Did you guys have a good week? Um, for some reason, this week kind of just slipped by and I'm like, what did, did, I, that's, what did I, I do? That's exactly how I felt. You know why? Because of our week. We keep mentioning this like week that we had, which was about last week. Yeah, we had, like it was a week from hell. So this week, it yeah. was like smooth sailing. This week, it was just one of those weeks that like... Oh, I, I existed, things happened, I guess, and yeah, here I am. It just went That's super like, quick. It was over before... Before, before it could get it. anything. Which is crazy. fine, because the week exactly before, like we it. had that rough, yeah. rough week. And you know what's crazy? I worked more hours this week. Like, I left my job yesterday at 7.15. Wow. I know, you were like, I'm Nine still here. 7.15, which is not crazy bad, yeah, but yeah, it's just yeah. crazy for that job. And Thursday, I got home at 7, so. Mm -hmm. um, but Wednesday, I wanted to share with you ladies, I went to a wedding expo. Which are fun. Now, which are so much fun. Yeah, and for those of you who don't know, I'm married, so <laughs> I... Ingrid and I are not married. Yes. So, uh, the opposite of married. Right. That's um, what I am. <laughs> my sister wanted me to join her at a wedding expo, and I dragged Aunt along, and we went to Bourne Mansion. Oh, wow. It's that's nice. Seville, and it was beautiful. Very and Samantha. We Very ate Smith. like a three course meal. What? That's awesome. Like, I didn't know that. It's like you were at a wedding. And She's we been had... waiting to tell us. This right. Well, yeah, we didn't know that. It, it was the best thing ever. And I feel like wedding expos are great if you're not getting married. Totally. Yeah, they are. And it's they like still a kind of annoy you. The, ven the vendors still kind of annoy you, though, even if you're right. not getting married because I you're there. Yeah. Totally. Like, right here. Yeah. Take my pamphlet on my limo. Take yeah, my pamphlet do this, on this. Do that. And Which you're like, fine. Give it to me. I had. Empanadas, guac, Spanish rice, cheese, uh, cut a fruit, lot of Spanish food, olives. Um, I had chocolate fountain. They had the mashed potato bar. Ooh. Aunt took off his ring because he felt guilty. Oh my <laughs> god! Free stuff, and I was like, Aunt, we should come to all of these. Yeah. It's a free date night. It is a free date night. Sam and I, uh, Sam, her sister, who yeah. she's talking about. Her and I actually went to a wedding expo like five to six years ago. Yeah. She wore a fake ring. This is how bad we were. She wore a fake ring. And pretended. And she pretended that I was her maid of honor and that Tim was John's best man and we were going to go and to go to the wedding expo. Right. We got so much free food and it's, free shit. Which one did you so go to? We went to the watermill. The watermill. The watermill. Their food, the 
plethora of food. Yeah, like, yeah so do. much food. We were like, yeah, we couldn't stop. The we photo just booth. We start doing everyone. it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You really have to like. The just only use time it. I've been to a wedding expo was the one I was in, like working at. I and guess we you went could say, that. and you guys oh came. God, yes. So my friend Gina and her uh, coworker at the time, she also the coworker does makeup and hair for right. weddings, and she did my friend Gina's hair and makeup for her wedding, and she asked if we could model the hair and makeup. I was like, sure, no problem. We got a free t-shirt, we got food, drinks, Mm -hmm. like everything that they had there. And I got my hair and makeup done, yeah, which was fun. Great. So beautiful. Thank you. So Gina. And gorgeous. Um, and it was fun. And, you know. Oh, you guys just missed out. <laughs> I saw her, that was her poster. That was yes, sweaty awesome. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun. The and thing I, is, I got I dolled up and everything. Went yeah. to that one, and then I went to a smaller one, and I never got fed. And oh. Sam told me you have to go to the actual venues like that the hotel food. or the yeah, man- exactly. mansions, and they will feed you. And yeah. I also had mini cupcakes, cheesecake balls, oh. and a lemon, no, a pineapple cherry tart. Oh, and I was just like, good. yeah. And you just blend. You're just in like, yes, please give it to everything. me. Yeah. And Sam, she got her information. They also served alcohol. It was five bucks, but I didn't. I oh, was like, that's not bad at all. Though. Bad. And then we just went outside. Did you ever, did you ever go to that mansion? No, I, I don't even know. I never, never crap. Really there were deer just grazing Aww. on the grass. It was beautiful. I was like, I want to go to all of these expos as long as I'm going to get fed. Yeah. Mm, and Aunt was like, we left so full, and Aunt's like, we should. We did get, get we right. were fed a little sample here and there. The one Ingrid was at. Yeah. Just keep taking it. But oh, yeah. This yeah. took you to yes. that one. When, right. we, when you have a sit down, like you mm-hmm. actually get to meet with the people. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they really do it up. So I mean, something to consider. People. We should do it for a video. <laughs> just we should. We, we should, should do a vlog. <laughs> we should vlog one of those. Okay, next time, because Sam's gonna pick. Sam's gonna get engaged very soon. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna say details, but right. in case she listens, which she's not. She's not listening. Sam, she's not listening. But in case you are, Sam. In case yeah. you are, Sam. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank but you so much. she's gonna go to a bunch of these, so I will let you guys know. And we'll yeah. the video. And also, it's just a tip for couples. Crash the wedding expo's blend in, yeah, and go on a date. Exactly. Yeah, free food, free Just drinks. Just make sure you coordinate and know what date you're getting. So that's right, Mary. Exactly. Because that's they're right. like, oh, when are you getting married? I could just see like. The groom being like September eighth, and the other one being like May fourth, right. and they're like, uh, uh, yeah. yeah. You guys need to decide. Yeah, to exactly. Right. You know, you get your story straight, right? Or you just say like, we could be like Michelle's. You only you have an engagement ring. Right. Yeah, right. I don't have a wedding band. So, so Ingrid and I are bridesmaids. Yeah, and go and, and we go. And we vlog it. Just so saying. be on the lookout just <laughs> for that. I just thought we had so much. Sorry fun. to all you venue vendors. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. But you know. But, but you know you're not watching something. But <laughs> technically, we're we advertising can... for you. And yes. Liz and I are not married, so maybe in the future, we will use your service. We'll, be, we'll be digging through like our old wallets, and we find this card, and be like, "Remember that time? Yes. Their mashed potatoes were dope." And maybe we That's get right. married there. And you know we're what? Not. I did. We did use. Um, a baker. We met a baker at one of them, and yeah. my friend used her for the wedding. So right. It's not so like you don't use these people. We're not taking advantage. You know? you know what? We could get inspired just by being there for our business. Yeah. Totally. Totally. Aesthetic, aesthetics and all of that. So exactly. I'm full on. It was so much fun, and Aunt and I just, we want to do more of these. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. It really is. That is fun. Yeah. And so... On the East wedding train ride, you yeah. went to a bridal shower today. I went to a bridal shower today yes. for an old coworker of mine who actually moved down to Florida, mm-hmm. um, but her family moved, lives here still, and so they're getting married in September. And her maid of honor, who is her cousin, who still works with me, um, and her mother did the shower for her at Farm to Table in Wisconsin. If you guys are local, yeah. Um, amazing shower i was blown away because i've only known this really as like a storefront yeah. though i had no idea that they even had seating yeah um so it's kind of next to the storefront and we went in and i was like oh my god everything was like that rustic chic mm-hmm. that so like, nice. everyone's obsessed with that yeah, everything yeah. is like farm tables and baby's breath and like the burlap and it just really, really pretty. Pretty. they did a really good job um, so shout out to Alex at the <laughs> um, Good job. Yes, but uh, it just, it was a really great p- 
paced shower. Like that's no nice. downtime, barely, except for when we were eating. That's but that's not really downtime to me because I'm like enjoying myself right, when I'm yeah. eating. You know, it's like the best part. So we walk in and they have these like crostinis, artichoke, oh, yeah. the artichoke spread. Nice. They had an uh, eggplant spread and then they had a white bean spread. So all of those were displayed beautifully, and they had. Strawberry, I know I'm getting hungry too. Strawberry <laughs> infused water and then Ooh. iced tea made with agave. Mm. So like health conscious, which I love. Like yeah. no, you know, artificial sweeteners or things like that. And then uh, within like not even a half hour we were eating, which I like was so thankful for. Right. Right to the point. Um, right to the point, exactly. And they served uh, the first kind of course I'll put in quotations was this kale salad. I know you don't like kale. I didn't have any of that either. <laughs> I'm not a fan. Ingrid and I do not like kale, but Michelle loves kale. Yeah. Um, I don't suppose they must, you have to massage. They massage nice oil and vinegar in there. <laughs> and then on the side, you could put feta, uh, walnuts, or cranberries if you prefer. And then there was a quinoa salad that had like grilled vegetables in it. Amazing. <laughs> oh, that's a problem. <laughs> that's a problem. Hold on, let, me get, let me get over there. Hold on. Keep going. Okay. And then um, there was a pesto pasta salad. So good. Oh, so good. And um, yeah, that was like the first course. Oh, and tomato mozzarella that you can put pesto on or yeah. capers or oil and vinegar, whatever you prefer. Love it. Then within 10 minutes the buffet was open yeah it was lemon okay. potatoes sort of a buffet yeah like a tiny buffet it was lemon potatoes it was chicken with a lemon sauce it was a steak with a chimichurri you can put Ooh, on it I uh love yes chimichurri. and a flounder wrapped stuffed with panko wow. and celery and all the good things taste like thanksgiving yeah much. so good wow. and uh grilled vegetables like so perfect for shower like so frou-frou and like yeah. early and like dainty and like health conscious, right. your belly conscious, you know, all the things. Right, you so didn't feel was, terrible Exactly. After. Now, there, was there a theme to the shower? I guess I would call it rustic chic was like, that was the theme, that but there the wasn't one. really yeah. like any, besides her, the fact that her husband is going, he's in the Navy, yeah. so it was like anchored, the, not themed, but the cookies and cupcakes had anchors Touches on them. Touches anchors. Touches, very Touches. classic, classic. Classically. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Classy parts. It was very Word. class, classy. Class. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Did they play games? <laughs> uh, we played a few games. We played the bingo. You had to fill in what right. you thought she was going to get. Uh, yeah. We had to, I uh, love this, all love songs from Disney movies. We had to match them up. Oh, okay. That's that a was good fun. game. That was Boy, fun, except mind. Alyssa has Store not that. seen very many newer movies. Right. So there's Which a few on there that I was like, ooh. Gotta jump on it. Yeah. Um, and even like the parents, it was funny. They were like, oh, I have no idea what this movie is. I'm yeah. like, I'm, I can't tell you anything because I really don't know if this song is from there or not. Yeah. Um, and then there was, uh, she asked, his name was Joe, her fiance questions and then Morgan had to ask the answer the questions the same and they got pretty much all the same That's answers good. which was funny and it was just Did really she nice. open up all the gifts she opened up all of our gifts you Reward, know I yes I, I like I, that you know what they want you to keep entertained because they want you to do the bingo while you're doing that I could give a, a flying fuck if I won the bingo so yeah. I, didn't, I was just like chilling the presents watching. part of and at that Idol point, they serve, is... right before they serve the coffee and the dessert. So I was okay. like, coffee, please. I like yeah. ran up to get the coffee. And yeah. so we were drinking the coffee. And so I was entertained with that because uh -huh. I love coffee. Right. Um, and then we had dessert, and a friend of the family made these amazing rainbow cookie cupcakes. Oh, the best rainbow love cookie rainbow cupcake. cookies. It tasted just like a rainbow cookie, but like so moist, delicious, dipped in ganache, really good. Oh, nice. There was cookies, which I didn't have because I'm not really a cookie person. Um, and then a cupcake, you know, shaped bridal dress. Oh, that, yes. I like yours. Her face. <laughs> She's so Michelle. sassy. It's unreal. Well, my thought about that. Was my mom shower. Right. It was for. Isn't it always though? Like the mom. My mom was so crazy today. Speaking of like moms, my sister yeah. was like, "I'm going to kill her." I'm like, "She's so she like." She was out of control. She was so like diva-ish. I can't explain. Sassy. Not that's not even. Yeah, she was sassy. just sassy. And she's my cousin Mara is getting is just got engaged and we're getting, she's getting married in April of this year, 2018, I should say. And my mom was taking pictures of all the things that she liked. I'm like, 
this is not your day. Mm -hmm. Let Morgan like get in and take. Uh, I was like, what are you doing? It was. Right. I, I could go on a rant about my mother. <laughs> um, anyway, so yes, yeah, that's, that's so that stuff. Ooh, ooh, mom chat. Mom chat. Mom chat. We should have a mom chat. We should so. have a mom chat because and I they'll feel the okay. bite us. Your mom and my mom. Are your same. mom is like the common. Your mom is so common, okay. though, Michelle. But Liz, Liz, we should have my mom on. Liz, yes. Oh my god. Yes. Oh my god, free therapy. She'd be session. like, what am I doing? Like, uh, <laughs> but seriously, like, I, I feel like Liz's mom and my mom are very alike, but mine is like the crazy Latina one, and, and yours is like the Jewish crazy one. Jewish one. <laughs> and it's just, they have a lot of similarities. It's, it's just, they're very similar. Different spice racks. Thanks. Yes. Oh. Get it, girl. Yeah, my mom has her things, but she's. Mine's like the Goya, and then. Like, the Goya! <laughs> I'm like the, like, saffron or something. Saffron, I don't know. yeah. Uh, that's hysterical. That's but a lot yes, of... I feel like yeah. A lot of times, like this was very much Morgan because she's like big into health and and fitness and things like that. So like, that's I really think they cool, did though. a good job as representation. Rep exactly, it's it very her. No, she knew about it. She yeah. was coming. She lives in Florida now, so she's coming out right. here. So she knew. And so she knew about it, and which she, makes sense. She got her hair done and her makeup done. And everything. She looked beautiful. That's good. And, um, yeah, it was a really, it just a really nice, it just flowed so well. And how long was it? It was from 1 to 5, but mm -hmm. we left oh, it right, I mean, people were leaving shower. at like 4.30. But usually showers are 4 hours. I yeah. That was 3. I mean, I have to say, like, we got there a little, like, yeah, 10 today. after 1, I said, the Christina's came out with, yeah. by 1.30, 1 1.45, we were eating, and then after that, we was like the next course, maybe 2 o'clock, and then yeah. we... You know, played some games and then dessert and coffee and presents and like it took up until four thirty and then yeah. mostly everyone was getting ready to leave. Yeah. So I was like, this was so perfect. That's and good. she gave um, uh, shower gifts a uh, local honey and it like Great, yeah. yeah next to it was like a card and it was like as you know Joe and Morgan want to say thank you for your, your sweet something or yeah. whatever it was. I don't remember exactly what it said, but very cute local Long Island honey which we love. Right. So um, stuff, we love that. local. So it was just like a nice day. And that's then good. Tomorrow, on the topic of weddings, my cousin Mara, who I mentioned before, we are going bridesmaid dress shopping. And uh, do you know? Do you, you been all there? Have different tastes. We all have very different tastes. My sister and I, maybe more so alike than the rest. Right. But um, it's hard to. My cousin that. Mara uh, and her sister, me and my sister, and then my cousin Brittany. Um, we all grew up very close, mm -hmm. basically siblings. So. Um, we will tell it like it is, for sure, yeah. but we all have very different tastes. My cousin Brittany's very plain, my sister and I are kind of like more of that, um, like, ethereal or like, Greek, we like that, like, yeah, the flowy, Sam. I can't describe Sam? my cousin Samantha. <laughs> There is no words Damn. to describe her. Yeah. She, um, she's a free saucy. bird. She's saucy. She exactly. is very saucy. Um, so we'll, she's a maid of honor, so luckily for us, she kind of can do really whatever she wants. So if we okay. all like something and she doesn't, then good for her. Go pick something else. Yeah. So um, we're going to do that tomorrow. So that should be fun. Um, mm -hmm. I'm very excited. Send us pictures. I would definitely send pictures. Send pictures. Yeah, so I said she's getting married in April, so this is going to get all this, yeah. unfortunately. I think she found the dress today. Awesome. We're going to see it again tomorrow. We're going to the same place. So. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. So it's That's all good. very exciting things. Weddings are very exciting. Very exciting. Yeah. I'm sure we'll have many We're <laughs> years to come. Well, Ingrid yeah. and I are going to a wedding in September. We are going. Yeah, yes. we're not. Just yes. We're get. Yeah. Oh, high five. High five. Yeah. Yeah. We had to read We are so oh, Sorry, guys. <laughs> Ghosters the condensation is real yeah. right now. Um, we are attending a wedding in September, which is in Baltimore. Yes. And as we said, we're good morning, in Baltimore. Uh, <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> I know every time I yeah. say Baltimore, same. Yeah. Uh, and you know, we we're from Long Island, so it'll be a, a nice little getaway yes. weekend. And it's with a lot of friends that we don't see as often. Mm -hmm. Yeah, which is and and I love. And the seeing couple them. is great. And the couple is. Like she was sending me pictures, that she, they're gonna have lost yes. things. Oh my god, the that's television awesome. lost. Yeah, you know they love beer, they love partying. They they're have a very. Pig. They have a pet so, pig. They're so chill and just. Awesome. I know this wedding is gonna be awesome. a great time. It's gonna be so much fun. It's, it's gonna be cute. so fun, and I'm really excited too because I just was in my childhood best friend's wedding, which was gorgeous. Everything was perfect, but it was stressful yes. being. A bridesmaid and it being, and especially because it involved a lot of 
uh, a bachelorette party that was away in yeah. Florida. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the bridesmaids were from out of state. The dresses, it was as much as I, I love her and I loved being a part of her special day. And you had a great time that and day. And I had so, so fun great. the day yeah. of. It did involve a lot of stress. It's a lot. It is. And a lot of money. Money. So, totally. um, totally worth it in the end, but throughout was very stressful. Yeah. Which, you know, it happens. And um, I've been in a few weddings already, so mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm been... excited to go to one. Yeah, and right. I, I not have to worry about anything. Yes. Just be the guest. Just drink, show up, eat, dance, drink, all eat, the good things. Which I do when I'm in them too. Like right, once, course. like pictures are done, I'm like, oh, Hi. I have no more responsibilities. Yes. Great. I have to help the bride pee every once in a while. Right. Fine. Sure. But that's it. But you'll find me at the bar. Yeah, <laughs> I'm at the bar doing shots, getting drinks, right. eating, and dancing. Yeah, I just want to dance. The whole night. Hopefully That's the DJ or whatever, if she has a band, is going to be good. Oh, yeah. Oh, that'll be great. I'm not worried about the music. I'm not yeah. worried Data, at all. parties, it's going to be great. It's going to be a good time. So I'm excited for that. Me too. And next year, we know friends will be engaged, engaged slash, slash I'm married. to get married. Yeah. I'm telling you. So we'll have a lot more coming soon. And that'll be the matron of honor, which I was the matron of honor in my friend Brittany's wedding last year, but it was a smaller wedding. Mm -hmm. It was... There was a lot to do. Yeah, Samantha's is going to be Sam's a Sam's wedding will be on a bigger level. I'm sure I'll have lots of things to say. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We'll have a fun follow-up episode. Once that process is, like, happening, Ooh. yeah, it's, it's going to be. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But. I'm excited. Yeah, I didn't do any wedding-related things this week. Yeah. Like you guys did. I, I had we mine. We, just yeah. we didn't plan that at all, but we decided we wanted to talk about it. Right. So. Yeah, no, I was not doing wedding things. I already had my wedding, like, yeah. Yeah, events wedding the past few months. months. It was like yeah. a six-month extravaganza of wedding mm -hmm. stuff, so I'm good. I have to feel that, like, at the wedding expo, as much as I was just floating around, I was so overly critical about everything. I yeah. was like, that wow. is so gaudy. Like, yeah. that invite, I find a lot of things are gaudy. but I could do it better. I do you think it's Long Island, though? I think yes. Long Island a is lot so over over very all the top. Yeah. What is with these arrangements with that are so huge and tall? Mm -hmm. You have flowers at the bottom, flowers at the top, flowers yeah. floating in the middle. And then they put like the bling in it. Yeah. And it's like, I don't relax. I don't either. I, like, I'm not a blitz girl. I'm not a blitz it doesn't need to, it doesn't this, have to be. They put blitz. it like in every little thing. It's like, no, no. it's too On the dresses, okay, yeah. It's but very like, Long Island. I think that's what it, it is. It is very right? Long Island. It's Long Island, and maybe it's weird, Jersey. And it's weird because. My whole life, and I don't know if because both my parents are immigrants, I never felt Long Island. Mm -hmm. I didn't feel like I was part of like the culture, because I had my own culture going on yeah. with like the Latino like life. I guess I don't know. I never felt part of the typical Long Island. But then, like if I go out of state and I talk to people, they're like, "Oh, are you from Long Island?" I'm like, "Do I really have a Long Island accent like that?" I don't know. Out. I guess it comes out. It does. But I never felt part of like the typical Long Island. Right. Me neither. But Niche, I, think I guess I overall come off more New Yorker. I, I said New Yorker. Yes. I I've think. said it. I don't know when I've said it, but I talk a lot with my hands, which you oh can see God. on oh, visuals. Oh, we're all so doing. It is always always not a stop, hands. and I've gotten stopped. People and say, are you people, in New York? Yeah, and yeah. I I know my thing hands down, not Long Island, but New York is I'm always like in a rush. Yes. And People are always slow. Like, yes. you're always going too slow for too me. Slow. And uh, Morgan, the girl who I had the shower for, and she lived down, now she lives in Florida, she's like, everyone is like so nice, it's like, it hurts. Yeah. It's like, please stop being so nice to yeah. me. Let's get shit rolling, like I can't. Like, right, or like if, yeah, you, if you go down south and like someone says, good morning, how are you? And like in the back of my head, I, I do recognize, I'm like, wow, that's so nice, but then my first Reaction is like, why the fuck are you talking to me? Yeah. Like, Which is bad. No. But in the back of my head, I do appreciate it. I'm like, wow, right. this person is so nice. But my instant, like, my gut, like, reaction is like, is this guy gonna kill me? Like, right? Why is he being so I nice know. Well, like, I don't talk to people. I don't talk to me. people. I don't know. But that's, you know, it's a culture. It's also I've noticed it a regional lot. thing. Getting yes. coffee down south and out west, <gasps> they take forever. Yes. Right. And you're just and like, everyone's I chat know. with their local barista. It's, it's like, like, no, 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 no. I gotta go. I got. I need. I, I, I got, got things, things to, do. to do. People to see. We got to hit places the road. to go. Yeah. 
Yeah. Agreed. I don't think I could live so anywhere else. That's us. why I'm like, no, you know. Yes. Yeah. We're just New Yorkers. No, we're we, are, New Yorkers. we are. We are typical. Uh, with a splash of Long Island in there. When we first started podcasting, I remember telling you guys, I'm like, my accent is so like <laughs> Long Island Jewish moms or something. Right. I was like, me. It's so <laughs> easy. <laughs> I was like, couldn't it not be so easily? I've obviously grown accustomed to my Me voice too. on yeah. radio. Yeah. On radio. Yeah. On radio. Yeah. On, on podcast. podcast. But hearing I'm, ourselves the first week. two or three episodes, I was like, guys, this is horrific. Yeah. Please make it stop. You get used to it. Just you get do used get to used to it. it. I don't think, I don't really hear Long Island with Ink. I Never. hear it with me. Yeah. Because I stretch like, yeah, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Zola. Zola. Coopy. Zola. The Zola. <laughs> Yeah, see, I don't have you that. You don't. I never and, hear it from you. And I think, ever. It's, I think it's because I grew up speaking Spanish I think and so. English. So and you learned, and like, how phonetically how to say something. I guess. We, we don't say <laughs> it. We know it, but it just comes it does, out. Yeah, it comes exactly. out. And I, don't, I guess, I don't know. It's just weird because I was born and raised here. I haven't lived anywhere else in my life at any time. In my home life, you're... In my home life. life, though, in my bubble of, like, my family and family friends, it's usually, like, 90% I'm speaking Spanish, Spanish. and then, yeah. you know, English here and there right so I guess that's saved me from it, that's the exactly Long Island it has saved, <laughs> saved me from the Long Island accent I guess my sister awesome. and my mom I don't hear it your sister has more of a southern accent than anything yeah, else which, which what the hell hysterical. is that about <laughs> like, really you don't sure. know where she came from I think from. she's prepping because she wants to move down she's south probably. and she's just like getting ready she has she's always said things like like weirdly I know Does she say and y'all? your mom uh, I actually say y'all a lot yeah, I, I, I do, it but like it's like a joking. Way. I mean, like, yeah. what are y'all doing? It's just y'all. Yeah, yeah. it just it's, it's nice. It's nice. It feels nice. It feels nice. Right. It feels right for me to say y'all. Right. It feels nice to say y'all, even mm-hmm. though no one here says y'all really. Mm-mm. I yeah. mean, if you go down south, I mean, so for y'all. sure. And in like, Texas, like, oh my god, everywhere yes. else. But yeah. yeah. I, mean, I don't know how we got to this topic. That's but, okay. You know, this is okay. This is what this podcast is going to be. We're gonna yeah, like to start it. on a topic, but then it just goes the into thing whatever. Is we are naturally conversationalists. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And we are. And we're best best friends friends and we can talk to each other. Three best friends that talk about anything, anything and everything. So that's, that's our catchphrase, right and that's what's pretty much gonna happen. Uh, we do want feedback from you guys, though, because. Yeah, please. Um, so our other podcast, Tree Hill Talk, plug, 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 uh, it does run about 45 minutes to an hour, which right. is great because we talk about two episodes of the show. Once and people hill. like the longer the better and they like that because they want us to really, they go, really go, want us to go in depth. But our first episode was very short and it got to the point because we just wanted to throw something up so there okay, to introduce, introduce what this is going to be. So, and we did get feedback from people. Everyone liked they the liked, 17 minutes. They liked, to they minutes. liked the length of it. But I know there's people that love long podcasts, and then there's people that like shorter podcasts. podcasts. Right. Now, I don't want to, like, put ourselves into a bubble, Me you know? Like, I don't want to be like, oh, we can only do 30 right. minutes and under. Because if we have an awesome conversation or we have a guest on that we just want to, like, ramble right. and talk to, obviously we're going to make that thing go as long so, as like, we want. So, like, sorry for people who don't like long podcasts. Yeah. Sorry to people who don't like short podcasts. We will be short or long. Yeah. Depending so, what it, it is. the podcast, I think, is just going to go with the flow of things. Some might be shorter. Some might be long. Longer. I guess it really just totally depends on I think so. where we're I kind of want it to feel like a good time hanging out with your girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. Drinking or a cocktail. Friends. Drinking of just friends. I mean, we are girls. But we you are know girls. I mean. But, you know, we, we'll, cater, we'll cater to the boys, too. Absolutely. Gentlemen. Gentlemen, I know this was a very wedding yeah. filled. Yeah, I mean, it's just what was going yeah, on. Yeah, sorry, guys. You know, shit happens. We're just going to talk I about mean, weddings. You could be. Boys get married too. Boys get married too. Like, sometimes they, they go to wedding expo. Sometimes there can be groomzillas. Oh, I worked a couple of weddings yeah? where they were a groomzilla. Oh yeah. What does a groomzilla get mad about? Um, I'm very intrigued. Oh, I, I, didn't, I never that thought never even crossed my mind that the groom could be a groomzilla. I have to tell you when Aunt and I first got engaged, I never wanted a big wedding and we didn't have a big wedding. Mm-hmm. But Aunt became a groomzilla. Really? Yes. There were things I vaguely that he, remember things. I, I remember argued with things. You do. You, I definitely yeah. do. Because he argued with me on certain things, and I'm like, does this really matter? And like, the, I remember with invites for people. He wanted to invite yes. more people. Yeah. Um, the way things looked with certain things. Yeah. I, I mean, and I was so like, this does not matter. And he like fought me to. Yeah. He was a bit, I'm like, you are more. Yeah. Okay. Into this. I remember now. Yeah. It's yeah. all coming back to me. Mm-hmm. Okay. But I've also worked weddings because I used to work with a wedding photographer yeah. and I was the assistant. And the groomzilla, like, very just particular. I don't know. Just, they do oh. more hissy fits than the bride. Wow. Fun fact. Fun yeah. fact. <laughs> so if you're a groomzilla, let us know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let us know if you're a groomzilla. Yeah. 
Yeah. Or Bridezilla. Or Bridezilla. Or, or if you're getting married, or if you're in a wedding. Bridezilla. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah. Totally. Oh. Charm. Before we wrap up, yes. uh, maybe you guys know about this, but mm. we did a photo booth at the end. Yeah. This uh-huh. was so much fun. In this photo booth, uh, Aunt Sam and I, we all went in, and you had to pick your photographer. Yes, Angela and I did this really? at her wedding Yeah, and we well. picked Austin Powers. She's having that at her wedding, actually. So cool. We picked Austin, oh no, we picked this like French guy. Yeah. It was so funny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they tell you different poses. They give you three poses Which I loved. Do, That's and cool. And then you get to do three poses on your own. Oh, that's fun. Because sometimes I go into the photo booth, I'm like, fuck, what do I do? Yeah, yeah. I do like the same, and then you do like the same thing, and then both of you end up doing yeah. like similar poses. And like, so I have some that are good after, you know, a few drinks. You get a little loosey goosey and you totally get better like different pictures. Hats. But for the most part, you're always like, there's like the smiling one, like the and tongue like, out, or yeah. like, you know, hands, up. Like, hands up, like kind of. Yeah. But that's cool. I didn't yeah. know they did yeah, that. Yeah. It was fun. I, I appreciate it. I wonder if Dana's going to have one. A photo booth. I wonder if she'll have one. Because it's at an event here. It's at a, it's like a store. A store place. Oh, I, I mean, they even still. Not. Those I'm are sure outside. I'm sure she'll have something so. like that. Maybe she'll have, like, you can put hats on or whatever. Right. I, do I think she'll have a photo booth. I remember at, I need Nick's, new photo at Nick's wedding, I was obsessed with the turkey hat. Yeah. <laughs> and there yeah, you were. I have so many pictures. Uh, with the turkey, the turkey hat. Also, during the father-daughter dance, there was a picture of me crying in the turkey hat. <laughs> oh, no. That Nick and Meg posted. Oh, my God. the photographer caught me just, like, yeah. crying. Yeah, that is the turkey hat. Yeah. And I kept going, I'm like, it's ironic because I don't eat turkey. It's no. not, though. <laughs> That was bad. It's not ironic. It's just a tricky hat. That it's was a great true. wedding, also. I'm, I'm thinking Dana's going to be on the same level. I think it's going to be the same level as Nick and Ann's. Shout out to Nick and Meg. Nick and Meg. You aren't listening to no, this, but, but <laughs> it's okay. Uh, your wedding was dope as Upstate, an adorable barn. It was like, I want to copy paste mm-hmm. their wedding. Copy? If I had to paste. do it over, I would. Well, no. If you were going to have. If you were going to have. If yeah, I were going to have a wedding that, I think. type. Because uh, they got married right outside the barn, and then we just whoop, walked right into yeah, the barn for the reception. We didn't have to drive anywhere. So much you didn't have to wait. I hate waiting in between. Oh my god, I know. Biggest pet peeve about. I don't know. Uh, let us know if in your. Because I feel like a lot of this stuff is very just Long I Island. I was about to say that. Like, because I don't know what's Long Island, normal. you'll have a church wedding, the ceremony, or the ceremonies wherever else outside at the beach. But then you have like three hours after you go to Do the you wedding. That wedding. We had to wait. I don't yeah. Say, but you know. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. it's a religious. The one I wasn't thing. invited to, but went to anyway. Yeah. That one. Yep. Oh yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, and then you're just like in limbo because you're not gonna go home. Right. But then you don't want to go eat, so I went to the bar. Right, it's <laughs> nice if like, they gave you like a hotel room you could stay at or right. something like that. But, but if it's a local one, don't. you're kind of just stuck Two like weddings. figuring yeah. out. To do that. Or you go to a holding place, Yeah. and they don't feed you. Right. Right. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, this past wedding, Gina's wedding, I didn't have that problem because in that chunk of time I was in the wedding. So that's the, at least the plus of that is like you're doing you're, something. Yeah, we were drinking, we were, we were on the bus, we were taking pictures. That time was filled. I think people need to think about their guests though. Right, they really should. Really be, it just, so just be aware. Like an hour is fine because if you're driving yeah. somewhere, that gives yeah. you plenty of time. Right. But if it's like more than that, it's kind of like, like, what the fuck yeah, do you do? Yeah, these people are like bored, yeah. they're hungry, they're tired, they want to get their stuff going. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. so I'm not about that. No, right. I'm not either. Mm-hmm. I'm not about that. That won't be happening. I'm that won't be like, happening either. Guests arrive hangry. Yes, they're like, and they're also, food and they drinks. have to make the decision like, should I go to the church or should right. I just go to the reception? Yeah, do I like, just go to the... They have to make this weird, awkward off- choice. Right. It's like, yeah. okay, if I only go to the church. I always go to the, the wedding, the actual ceremony. I Something in me is like, how can I not? I feel like I have right. to go. It's like, how I feel weird about just going to the reception. I've gone to enough yeah. weddings where I haven't gone. Yeah, me choice. either. Right. No, yeah, I've always gone to the actual wedding ceremony and then the reception after. Because I feel like it's kind of... Right, it's just what you gotta do. I don't know. Just, I feel like you should be there. Like you're celebrating the wedding. You should and they invite that's the actual and they invited part, yeah. you. You should actually be at the ceremony. I totally agree with you. You know, like it's kind of. Right. I, I don't know. That's my opinion. No, no I agree I with agree that. I agree as well. So yeah. Yeah. Look at us go. <laughs> Talking about all these weddings. I know. So I many. feel. Do you remember? I'll never forget my wedding. I didn't like. There was this whole thing. I had a very very small court wedding. Yeah. 
and John, our friend, mm -hmm. he kept texting me that whole week of saying, like, are you sure you don't want friends there? And I was like, I'm sure. I don't even yeah. want family there, but my family came, whatever. I'm yeah. a, whatever. I'm a private person. And that he just kept pressing it. Yeah. I was like, are you sure you're not going to be disappointed? I was like, I, I swear to you, dude. Like, I am positive. Like, but I thought. They came, they came and they threw stuff at us as soon yeah. as I was like, which was cute. But, um, yeah. That was the only, and I think friends or some family got insulted that we didn't invite them to the ceremony. I wasn't insulted because I was like, I'm going to do what Michelle wants. I know, right? and I told you guys, too. I was like, yeah. I will not be insulted. Please do not feel bad. No. I'm not saying this. To I just. No. Because I, it I was totally fine with it because I knew that's what you wanted. Yeah. Right. So, you know what? It, like, didn't mean right. any. It, it's so weird. Because Aunt and I exchanged our vows in the morning. Yeah. I gave him his ring in the morning, and then we just went to the court. And right. To, do to the make it official. To make it official. official. So, it, that. Ceremony really meant yeah. nothing to me. <laughs> Though, I want to say, uh, if you, we're going to post it because I think this is a postable mm -hmm. picture. Uh, there's a picture of all of us, all of Michelle's <gasps> friends. We're running. It's hysterical. And there's a catzilla oh. chasing us. So we're going to post that. We are going to post My awesome. wedding photo. I think okay. that is my favorite wedding picture that I'm into. That, because we're all we had taking away pictures from Godzilla. with friends and everything. And, so. all, and that was my other request. My, my, she was my boss. She's like my friend, my family. I, what do you call Steph? Well, she's Steph like is my your, special person. She's I was working. Special person. She photographed our my wedding. There yeah. you go. And I was just like, I just want my friends. Like, I didn't have. I don't have family photos. Right? Yeah. yeah. On all the pictures in this apartment, also are, are all, all friends. Of the friends. There's no family. <laughs> friends are our family it's with just, us. I have a couple of outside the town hall, but that's it. Right. But, I requested, I was like, I want everyone to just pretend you're running from a giant cat. It was cat. so bad and hysterical. And you all were like, yeah, yeah. Like, okay, yeah, fine. No Whatever she says, we're Yeah, there. we'll do. We're we running. We had a blast, and we were, like, crying because it was Wasn't so funny. So it was so, so funny. Much fun. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, we I went down to Fort Jeff, and we ran in the in a dark. Yeah, and that dark. was nice, too, because you guys didn't have to travel. Well, I know you got dropped off. Yeah. But I got yes. married in my the mom, town I think where my mom dropped Ingrid and I Yeah. if we were drunk later. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> and then Andrew drove us Andrew home. Andrew drove us home. Yeah. Yes, we, we took pictures, then we ate across the street, and then we partied. Like Yeah, a, we had an open bar at one of the local places yeah. that is now closed, oh, sadly. Geez. But they had a great live uh, like music playing. And it was, it was like my reception. Bar. Yeah, it was it like was a reception. The but best honestly, time. receptions have a cutoff time. That place was open until late. Yeah. We were able to drink and dance and go for much longer than a reception yeah. would have. So it was I had a lot a, of fun. Yeah. all night, all night. Yeah, I had a dinner and invited only the closest. Right, and the food was the food oh, yeah. was so amazing, so good. Yeah, local shout place. Out to the fifth season. Shout out to the fifth season. They have a really they good have food. They have amazing food because yeah. it's whatever is like in season, right. like local. And they change the menu. Uh, yeah, all the time. Yeah, so good. It was delicious. Oh, it was really, and then it was fun. We, it was so that was nice. We could hang out with your family a little bit, and then yeah. Yeah, then they go home. Then yeah. all of our family yeah. come home, and, and then, they're like, "Let's party!" Let's yeah, party. Then we partied and we and danced. We, and, and they shouted us out that we got married. So yeah. it was awesome. Like, it, it was, was exactly like it was a party. Oh, we didn't have to pay for it. Yeah, you didn't have so, to pay for it, and we yeah. just and then drank and, and we danced the whole night. It was awesome. Right. And then they it was took off fun. and we traveled for two months, so. Yeah. Yeah. There was that too. Yeah, you traveled <laughs> everywhere for two months, yeah. which is Our what visual. Okay. Yeah, you guys can kind of see the pictures this in the back. <laughs> we will customize. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have be, it. It mean, takes we'll three be anywhere and everywhere, wherever we feel. Yeah, for those that are actually watching the podcast right now on YouTube, we're just hanging out in Michelle's living room. We yeah. kind of changed the set a little bit, but we it did. works. It's really nice. I am really happy because... We have our other podcast, like we said, Triangle we'll Talk, and we do visuals for that, but we have in the record in the other room. Yeah. And I really wanted to just change separate. it Separate. We're right. separate. We're separate. Which yeah. is fine. This is very nice. Right. I like it. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. Well, I think we're good. I, I mean, we're we good. could be done talking. We could be do you guys done. want us to be done talking? <laughs> uh, I guess we'll just wrap it up and just say uh, down below in the show notes oh, we, have, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we have all of our links um, if you listen on iTunes please subscribe leave, rate, rate, rate and review give us five stars if you please if that's something you're into <laughs> we love the five stars and uh, share the podcast with your friends um, check out our other podcast if you love the show One Tree Hill type in Tree Hill Talk you'll find us we'll link that down below as well um, if you like this podcast and you want to support us, we do have a Patreon page, which is a site that you can support content creators, and you guys will get bonus content behind the scenes. We do giveaways over there, and it's a good time. So if you 
wanna pretty much you'd be the sponsor of this show. <laughs> Uh, awesome. You know, which would be awesome and will allow us to do more fun things. Uh, go check it out. And thank you for those who are supporting us. Our giveaway is going to be announced very soon. Yes, yes. we're so excited it's an for awesome, it. Yeah, uh, I actually don't want to give it away. No, yeah, we're, we're not going to say it. But uh, we do monthly giveaways, and we do have a first giveaway set up that yes. we're going to be doing very soon. September 1st. So I think we have about 10 people over there. Yeah. I think 11. 11, 11 people last that are currently pledging. That's great. So that's thank you awesome. so much to those that are already supporting. We Yay. super appreciate it, and we will be doing a giveaway. And like I said, you guys will be getting the content early, so you'll be getting the podcast early, and you'll get behind the scenes and other yeah. little things. And so. follow us on all of our other social media. We have... Facebook, we have Instagram, we have Twitter. Twitter. Yeah. We have obviously a YouTube channel. Subscribe and, um, to YouTube. Yeah. And if you guys want to follow us individually, we'll link our everything. Everything will be below. in the show notes. Yeah. So we love and appreciate you guys so much. Thanks for hanging out. Have a great week. It's hump day. It hump is day. hump day. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll see you next week. All right, guys. Bye. Bye.